Bring your arms up and down. We're going to do it again, but I need elbows straight, not of these. Okay, so elbows straight, arms up and down. Arms up and down. This time, pay attention. What did your breathing do? Arms up and down. What did you do? When your arms went up, you inhale. inhale. Why do you inhale? Why did all hundred some of you inhale? <laughs> because when you expanded the rib cage, you dropped the internal pleural pressures by at least three centimeters of water pressure, creating an inspiratory drop. So now, why don't I ask you as my patients to actually inhale when your arms go up. Ready? Okay, breath in. And it helps to raise your arms up and down. Now, the reverse. Exhale. Did your arms go up as high? Are your elbows as straight? Most of you came out into more abduction. So in other words, hmm, breathing and movement might be linked. Maybe there's a natural pairing. When those arms come up, I need my thorax to open. When it opens, I drop the internal pressures. That's an inspiratory moment. When we ask people to inhale, I mean when we ask them to exhale, as the arms are coming up, what we are asking them to do is bring your head forward in a bad position, bend your elbows and come out in abduction. There is no logic to that from a biomechanical standpoint.